of a cognac that I would have. Yeah. Mm hmm. I like it. I like to, like, no, my skin you know. feels like it's ripping that, off. No. Because it's literally <laughs> ripping your skin. Literally. <laughs> there you go. You know, it's the end of the trip because I look like a beat of big toe. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. It's Leia. If you're new, I want you to stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be going on my first solo trip to Atlanta. So, let's go. I made it to Atlanta. Guys, I'm in Atlanta for the first time by myself. Well, actually, that's a little bit of a lie. I came to Atlanta a couple months ago to go see Beyonce, but I literally spent less than 24 hours here, and it was literally just to go see Beyonce and then go back home. So I'm not really counting that as a solo trip. This time, this is a trip. I'm here for like three days and I have a bunch of stuff, but also not a lot of stuff planned out. I've never done a solo vacation before. I've always gone on vacation with someone else. Now I'm here by myself and I'm excited because I get to be in my own company. I think that it's super important to intentionally spend time with yourself and intentionally spend time with yourself doing things that you would normally do with other people people so yeah i'm here i'm here and i'm either gonna love this experience or i'm gonna hate it i think i'm gonna love it because it's been going good so far and i just checked into my airbnb oh yeah let me show you guys around let me stop talking when you walk in you have these three mirrors and then here is the airbnb it's super colorful which is super different for me because I normally stay at places that are more like monotones. Oh my God, not my bag being open like that. But I normally stay in places that are more like monotones, like black and white. And this is like super colorful. It has an air hockey table, a foosball table, a baby pool table, a freaking puzzle over here. There's tons of board games. And then there's even this arcade machine, which uh, low-key, I want to play it, but I'm also very scared if this, I don't know if this works. I'm just going to leave that there. And then the bathroom. And then there is a freaking hopscotch rug on the floor. We got to complete it. You ready? <laughs> All right. We need to go to Whole Foods because I need some snacks to keep me alive for the next couple of days and then I'm gonna go get something to eat because your girl's hungry and um yeah let's go to Whole Foods not me out of breath <laughs> it is the next day i'm just getting ready to start my day off so i gotta finish getting ready actually let me go get my tripod out because i don't like this angle setup give me one second ah so much better good morning guys i'm about to recurl my hair because they fell yesterday i did like a lot of walking around the midtown area just trying to get a feel for where everything is i'm actually not staying too far from 
the Starling, which is where I stayed when I came to see Beyonce. So I was already kind of familiar with where everything was at. After I walked to Whole Foods, I just decided to just go a different route to get back to the Airbnb, just to, you know, see what was going on, see what places are around to eat. And I ended up finding the Panera Bread, y'all. I love Panera Bread, but I don't think I'm gonna visit Panera Bread. Whenever I travel, I always try to go to places that I've never been before or that I don't have back at home. And it's like, baby, we got a Panera at home. You can always eat Panera, like, whenever you want. So yeah, I try to stay away from the common things that I know to do back at home and try to do different things when I go out to travel because that just makes it more of an experience. Now, every now and then, I'll go and visit. So you might see me at the dang Chick-fil-A. I'm all about the food when I go travel. Last night, I went to Johnny's Famous Chicken and Waffles and it's like a restaurant that's co-created, I guess you could say, or collabed with different celebrities. So like Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop has a location. And then the one that I went to last night is Neo's wife. Baby, that food was good. I had the strawberry deep fried biscuits. Chef's kisses literally tasted like a funnel cake. I had the buttermilk chicken tenders, which were super good nice and oh my goodness like that's how it was <laughs> and i had the coleslaw now i know a lot of people don't like coleslaw but i like coleslaw and it did coleslaw the way that i like which is sweet it was perfect and then i had mac and cheese the mac and cheese was delicious not my mama's mac and cheese but it was still good i was the only one in there so it was nice it was just like a nice little vibe the server he was playing drake so it was definitely cute i got me a little mimosa it was it was cute it was a cute vibe you guys probably don't even know this but i am a sucker for reality tv i love a good reality tv show i watch love and hip-hop i've seen all the episodes from all of the seasons. I watch Basketball Wives, Marriage Bootcamp, Reality Stars. If it comes on WeTV or VH1, baby, I'm watching it, okay? And my favorite of all time favorites is Love and Hip Hop. And I'm super excited because today I'm going to Frost Bistro, which is Kirk and Rashida's restaurant. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I heard really, really, really great things about the restaurant. All the food looks good, the drinks look good. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting me some brunch this morning. I'm probably gonna ask the people at the restaurant if I can vlog just so that I feel a little bit more comfortable with vlogging. Cause sometimes like, when you just whip the camera out, people are just like looking crazy. Like when I whipped the camera out yesterday, my server was kind of just like, <laughs> okay. And I was just like, oh, I should have asked. So then you would feel less awkward and I would feel less awkward. Just annoying me and I'm too about it and the dirt that they do on my name turn us on. Look how long my hair is. Hold on, let me take this out. Do y'all see this? The inches. Hey baby, it's all mine. See side, I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one and I'm still here outside. My scent for today is going to be a three layer combo. I love layering my scents. If you don't layer your scents, get into it. So first, I'm gonna start off with my base. I'm gonna be using the Vanilla Body Fantasies. You wanna spray yourself, like really, really spray yourself. And let me tell you something. This is the most long lasting perfume for the low low that you can get. Second layer is going to be the Black Opium extreme black opium has a vanilla in it and that body fantasy just brings out more of the vanilla inside of the black opium the fact about me 
I always get travel size perfumes because I never know when I'm going to want to like switch the scent or be tired of the scent because sometimes scents grow old to me but black opium eight one because it smells so good i'm gonna smell like a vanilla hug last but not least is angel share this is by killian i believe yes smells like a bottle of alcohol but in the best way possible oh my god it smells like a cognac that i want to <laughs> yeah Mm hmm think of like a apple cognac that's what this smells like this is the outfit i just have on black cargo pants from fashion nova a bodysuit <laughs> from fashion nova a cardigan from fashion nova <laughs> the whole fit is fashion nova <laughs> and then my chucks which these are like the converse i don't know chunky big boys I carry my black tofizi, so let me show y'all. So this is the vibe for today. I look like I'm about to go to a business meeting or something. I don't know. It's cute though. So I'll see you guys when I get to Frost Bistro. Just up the aquarium, I felt like a big kid in there just being so wowed by all the fish and the sea turtles and the jellyfish. Like, it was so much fun. Had the time of my life. And first of all, I didn't even talk to y'all after I went to Frost Bistro. Let's talk about Frost Bistro. Okay, B, that food was so fire. But I am getting ready to go to my next location. I think I'm gonna get on the Skyview Atlanta. I don't know if I want to do it though, but it's like right across the street from the aquarium, so I might as well go over. But if not, I'll see you guys when I get to the botanical gardens. I'm at the botanical gardens. I'm currently walking down a path. I don't know where it's leading. I have a map, but I'm not putting it to use, nor will I put it to use. I'm just gonna wing it. This place is actually bigger than what I thought it was, so I hope I don't get lost. She's gorgeous. I wonder what this place will look like at night. They have like string lights hanging from everywhere. Oh my God, is this a spot that I can go? Guys, this place is so big, look. Oh my goodness, that is so gorgeous.
Oh no, I gotta get out of here. My silk press cannot handle this. Yeah, yeah. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. Hey guys, this is actually my first time speaking to you guys today. I went to the Flying Biscuit for breakfast and then went over to Caribou Coffee to grab something to drink. It's really cute in Caribou Coffee. It's low-key, kind of like a Starbucks. I got a pumpkin white mocha latte iced, which was pretty good. The only downside was they ran out of their non-dairy milk, so I had to get 2%. So I only drank half because, baby, ain't nobody trying to have a stomach messed up. But I had to come back to the Airbnb because baby look at my hair i thought i was gonna be cute by wearing this half up half down even though i knew it was raining this morning it's not raining currently but it's still a little foggy a little humidity in the air but i still tried to press my luck and by the time i got to the flying biscuit my hair said baby no put me up so <laughs> i had to come back in here real quick so that i could put my hair up into a ponytail and then i have to hurry up and go to the next destination which is clean your dirty face i'm gonna go get a facial i've seen this place all over tiktok when i looked up like things to do in atlanta and the first time that you go your facial is 35 bucks so why not i never had a facial before so we'll see and then after my facial i'm gonna go get a massage at treat your feet and this is over in Buckhead. Never been to Buckhead, so this will be my first time. Clean Your Dirty Face is also in Buckhead. I got all these flyaways. I should have bought some got to be glue spray to pin them down, but listen, baby. It's whatever. Get into the ponytail. All right, let's go. <laughs> Oh, I'm saying I'm scared. Oh my god, girl. <laughs> I like it. I like the like no, my skin no. feels like it's ripping that, off. No, because like, like, it's literally ripping your skin. <laughs> How can us lose and miss the moment? You are just too important. Nobody, nobody like you won't do. I can't lose when I went to. I can just lose and miss the moment. You are just too important. Nobody, nobody like you do. You do. In the top tier, right with you, I feel like Scarface. Say hi to the vlog. Oh well, say hi. <laughs> I low key wish that I smoked some more hookah yesterday. Y'all, why did I just look over the footage of me getting my facial and the whole entire time my nose ring was crooked? Like it was over here somewhere. My nose ring is never straight. I'm about to go back to getting a ring because at least with the ring, you know, it, it stay in one spot. I don't know why my septum piercing moves around so much. Like, it, it just be in its own world. 
but anyways i'm back at the airbnb as you guys can tell i had such a relaxing day my facial at clean your dirty face was amazing and i went to treat your feet at the buckhead location and got my massage i did the two hour massage special one hour body massage one hour foot massage. I literally fell asleep. They put me in this dim lit room. I put my earpods in and started playing my music and he gave me a blanket. Baby, it was over once he gave me that blanket because once he got to rubbing my feet, I was asleep, knocked out. I think I woke up at one point and like kind of like jumped a little bit because I forgot where I was. It was so freaking relaxing. I think I'm gonna go to the Atlanta fair, but right now I'm just in here watching YouTube and I'm about to go play The Sims. This one thing that you need to know about me is that I love playing the sims specifically the sims 4 so i'm about to play for a little bit and i'm about to go ahead and watch my youtube video i'm watching the lerman twins and i will catch you guys in a little bit to something that i do really enjoy I'm still gonna be fully honest because i do genuinely like the product i just i don't want you guys i'm back and i'm better i want you bad as ever don't let me just let up. It's five o'clock in the morning. I'm about to leave and head to the airport. My trip is come to an end. I tried to go to the carnival yesterday. Bro, why they wouldn't let me in? Because I had a book bag. Mind you, my book bag not even that big. Like, look at my book bag. That is the book bag. That's not even a big book bag. She could have let me slide so I could have some carnival fun. But I just basically was like okay and i left and i ended up going to colony square here in midtown it's like a nice little vibe that's where i went to go eat my lunch um yesterday it was so cool i got me a little drinky drink and i actually got me two drinks for the price of one shout out to the homegirl at king of pops they hooked me up i needed that it was a little hurt that i couldn't go to the carnival i'm not even gonna lie so that just made me like <clears throat> so happy like yeah now i'm just sitting out here with a nice little vibe anyways i'm talking too much okay i'm leaving i'm calling my uber and i'm, I'm getting out of here i'm going to the airport so i want to thank you guys so much for coming with me to atlanta for my first solo trip i had an amazing time i would 10 out of 10 recommend you guys taking your own solo trip if you haven't been be your own company baby if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe on your way out and i'll see you guys in the next one peace